And the last of the open debate contributions is from Ruth Maguire. Officer, I share our government's commitment to ensuring Scotland is a modern, inclusive nation which protects, respects and realises internationally recognised human rights. 9th of December is the International Day of the Human Rights Defenders and 2019 marks the 21st anniversary since the adoption by the UN General Assembly of the UN Declaration on Human Rights Defenders. Those who defend human rights across the globe often do so at incredible risk to themselves and their families. Challenging brutality, oppression and injustice carries great risk. And holding powerful people to account, whatever power they have over you, wherever you're based, is never risk-free. I really welcome the contribution Scotland is making with the Human Rights Defender Fellowship, supporting those at risk for their work in protecting human rights around the world and offering the folk who come here some rest and, and respite from the daily dangers and threats inherent in their work. Also offers an opportunity for study, training and research to support their human rights work and the chance to connect with civil society organisations and government officials both here and um, in Edinburgh and in London. And as a good global citizen, the Scottish Government is committed to securing democracy, the rule of law and human rights right across the world. Indeed, Scotland was one of the first countries in the world to endorse the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, which are fully embedded in the National Performance Framework. I asked the Cabinet Secretary for Culture, Tourism and External Affairs this month about Spain's conviction of the Catalan leaders Jordi Sanchez and Jordi Cushart for sedition deemed by amnesty in violation of human rights as legitimate acts of protest and the rights of freedom of expression and peaceful assembly had effectively been criminalised by Spain. I was glad to have the reassurance from the Cabinet Secretary that the Scottish Government will always seek to raise human rights with foreign governments, including the Spanish Government, when opportunities arise. It's so important that Scotland uses its influence wherever possible and acts as an example of best practice when it comes to protecting and enhancing human rights here and globally. Presiding officer, we live in turbulent times in a world which many people's rights in many countries are under threat and we in Scotland must stand in solidarity with those who seek freedom and justice through dialogue and democracy. Here in Scotland, there are a huge number of ways that the Scottish Government demonstrates a commitment to human rights in policy making and delivery. As we are debating here on the final day of 16 days of activism, I would like to recognise the good work in the Equally Safe strategy, but also acknowledge the work still to be done in gaining equality for women and girls. 90 women have been murdered by their partners so far this year. Violence against women is a violation of women's fundamental human rights. The right to life, the right not to be tortured or treated in an inhuman and degrading way. The right not to be discriminated against. Here, in our developed, wealthy country, there are still far too many whose human rights are not realised. I hope that we can have the courage of the human rights defenders we host in dealing in these injustices and be brave, honest and focused as we navigate the challenges of defending rights, particularly where rights can be perceived to be competing. And finally, let's resolve to never shy away from speaking our truth to power, or indeed in listening openly and generously to those who speak theirs to us. Presiding officer.